What's up guys? We are going to do a nice little video on a new little gadget I got. So it is kind of touchy. So I want to go through a little instruction, instructional video on how to set it up. So stand by for the rest of the video guys. All right gang, so when you get this, you are going to have your probe you are going to have your monitor part, some electrolyte solution, and then five, six, sorry, six of these membrane caps. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that the membrane on the cap is not damaged okay there's a little knurled part right here and you're gonna open it up just like that and that's the actual oxygen electrode this little silver part right here is the temperature sensor so you want to be very careful with that part so here we have our little membrane cover you're gonna to wanna to take some of this electrolyte solution, give it a quick little shake, and you're gonna to wanna to put about a third, quarter to a half in your little cap there. And then this will go, whoops, this will go on it and you will screw it back on. So I'm gonna screw it back on and then we'll get back to the video. All right, got her screwed back on. And when you're screwing it on, make sure to only be touching that knurled part. Do not put your finger on the bottom. Only touching that knurled part. So now there's a cap on this you remove, which exposes the connection point for the probe. You'll notice there's a little notch right there. Okay, there's also a notch on the probe end. Those gotta line up. When you line it up, it'll slide on easy. And then this little collar will click into place. Because as you'll see here, there it is. Got those little ball bearings that'll click and it'll click into place. So, We'll get her lined up and push it on and then you hear it click. So here it is fully assembled. To calibrate it, you will turn it on. We want it set to percent and let it sit for a minute. And let it go down to where it has to go down so I'm gonna go ahead and step away for a minute while this gets itself where it needs to be and we will be back all right guys she's slowing down so to calibrate push and hold calibrate for five seconds let it go and it'll blink 100 three times and boom there it is okay that's how you can calibrate it with just the one point of calibration. Now they do have a zero oxygen solution. I have ordered it. And then that way you can calibrate both points. You can have the 100% uh, calibrated and the zero. So stand by for a minute. We're gonna go off to the pond. We'll show you how this works. All right, guys, we're off to the pond. Cap is on, the electrolyte solution is still in there. And you want to make sure the water level goes past that temperature sensor. So you will drop it in quite a ways. You can go all the way up to the cap. And as you'll notice, it's starting to change. Now, the temperature sensor also has to get caught up to what the actual water temp is. And we're sitting at about 82. So you're going to continually see that percentage go down until we hit there. If I hit mode again, 
my percent, or not my percent, I'm sorry, my parts per million of dissolved oxygen is 7.5 right now. But again, the temperature's got a ways to go. So we uh, will step away for a second again, let the temperature get dialed in, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, well, she's starting to stabilize. Um, like I said, the water's around 81 degrees. As you can see, it's showing 80.2 and an oxygen level of 7.3 parts per million. So now, or milligrams per liter. So now if we push the mode again, it shows me that my water content is sitting around 89%. Now, we're gonna go back to this setting and we're gonna go over by the return and watch what happens to the number. This is just the one coming out of the skimmer. It's going up just a little bit. Showing us that water movement is very important. I'd really like to try to get over there and see what it says. But as you see, it's up to 7.5 already. And that's just because it's in the flow of the water. We come back over here where it's a little calmer. It should start to go back down a little bit. See, let's go in front of the skimmer once, see what happens. Trying to get that glare out of there, there we go. Not a whole lot of a change going into the skimmer. But the return water is better. We're down to 7.1 going into the skimmer. Come over to the return water. Look at that. So that's why flow and water movement's important, guys. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna have for this video. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope if you do decide to buy one of those, it's the DO 9100 Dissolve Oxygen Analyzer. It's a pretty good little unit. Find them on Amazon, find them on eBay. Um, I'm happy with it. I, I would recommend it. It's very accurate compared to my liquid test. It's a lot easier to use. So if you have any questions on how to set this up, how to get it working, let me know it out in the comments. And as always guys, keep on investing keep on improving. We'll see you guys on the next video. Later.